Hello, my name is Joy Gibson, a technical support scientist at Shamatsu Scientific Instruments. One of the most common problems with ICPMS is low signal. In this video, we will show you how to troubleshoot this problem. You may notice this issue when you run a tuning solution for instrument calibration. To begin your troubleshooting, first check the drain trap to make sure it is full. If it is not, you should fill with deionized water. If a new probe has been installed or the length of the tubing had been changed, then the times of solvent rinse and sample rinse at high rotation speed should be adjusted before acquiring data. This helps to minimize carryover and ensure that the sample can reach the plasma. Solvent and sample rinse times can be determined by manually generating a bubble in the sample tubing and using a stopwatch to measure the time it takes to move from the auto sampler probe to the nebulizer. In order to generate a bubble, first make sure the plasma is on. Then use the Instrument drop-down menu and select Control to open Instrument Control window. From the Nozzle Destination drop-down menu, select Home and click Apply to lift the sample tube out of the rinse port and introduce an air bubble in the sample tube. Then return the probe to the rinse port by selecting R0. The minimum solvent and sample rinse times should be 10 seconds, plus the time required for the solution to reach the nebulizer from the auto sampler probe. If the air bubble doesn't move smoothly, you must check the sample introduction system, including the probe, sample tubing, peristaltic pump tubing, and the nebulizer, to isolate the cause of the issue. Sample tubing can become partially or completely clogged by particles in the sample. To avoid this problem, you can filter your samples after digestion using 0.45 micron PTFE filters. The peristaltic pump tubing can become worn with extensive use and should be visually inspected daily. Worn peristaltic pump tubing should be replaced. As you replace the new tubing, make sure to verify that it is centered under the clamp. The tension of the peristaltic pump on the tubing must be checked and optimized to ensure the most even liquid flow. The orifice of the nebulizer is very small, so even minute particles can block it partially or even completely. To check the uptake consistency and aerosol from the nebulizer, first make sure the plasma is off. Then, put the sample tubing in deionized water and use the instrument control window to turn on the carrier gas to 0.7 liters per minute. Remove the nebulizer from the spray chamber, but keep it connected to the sample and carrier gas tubing while aspirating a water solution. Make sure that water has reached the nebulizer and avoid aerosolizing acid solution. Check to see if you get a constant spray without any spitting. The shape of the spray should be a symmetrical V-shape, centered at the tip of the nebulizer and consisting exclusively of very fine droplets, like a mist. If you are not getting these results, check the nebulizer and the tubing. They may be clogged and need to be cleaned or replaced. Cleaning the nebulizer can remove some particulate issues. Next, the torch and interface cones can be visually inspected. The torch should be checked for evidence of deposits or blockage on the torch injector, and also for wear, which appears as white discolorations or melting at the torch tip. If you find blockage or wear, you should consider replacing the torch. The cones should also be inspected each time you use the instrument, prior to igniting the plasma. If the orifices of the cones show signs of clogging, you should consider cleaning or replacing them. Use the provided jig to remove and install the skimmer cone. Be careful not to touch the tips of the interface cones when handling or cleaning them. In order to ensure that your ICPMS delivers good, consistent data, it is also important to inspect and clean all glassware and interface cones regularly. For more information on Shimadzu ICPMS instruments, visit us at www.ssi.shimadzu.com. Excellence in science, Shimazu.